Hello, this is Dave with Organics, and today we're going to talk about some new data that we received from uh, 2022, and we're going to focus just on, on corn and beans. So let's look at first some, at some corn data. So first of all, if you've listened to my webinars in the last year or so, you've heard, heard me really stress fertilizer reduction, and really the science has become so clear that when we have active, diverse biology in the soil, our nutrient use efficiency is greatly improved. Um, so this is another trial that we did. This was in Iowa. And you can just see the data where we went from anywhere from 5% um, uh, reduction to 20% reduction. We focused on nitrogen. And you can see, again, depending upon the price of nitrogen and the price of corn, you can figure out which percent reduction would pencil in the best. My purpose isn't to give you a formula for exactly what to do because your ground is different, your operation is different, there are a lot of different factors, but instead to stress that Bio 800 Plus is a tool that will help you back off your fertilizer inputs. And in fact, when we back off nutrients, the crops and the biology in the soil actually work better together. So you not only save money on the front end with fertilizer, you get a better result at the end of the season while you actually build back your soil health and soil quality, because without active biology, that's not going to happen. So again, I just stress, use Bio 800 Plus as a tool to start backing off your inputs. So now we'll just look at some other corn yield data. This is from Precision Planting. So a, a really uh, reputable third party you can see here in Illinois, they got about a six bushel increase in corn. Now let's go over to South Dakota where it was really dry. Now, if you look in parentheses, this is the acreage of each comparison. So these were not small plots. These were decent sized hunks of different fields. And you can see across the board, about a 30 bushel an acre increase on his corn. And this is a really high result. This is not something most people should expect. However, we know scientifically again that there is soil biology, in particular fungi, really help the plant trigger the different genetic signals to protect them from stresses, including drought. So when the conditions are rough, the biology in the soil actually is going to pay off even more because it's working better with the plant. Now let's go over to Wisconsin. Uh, again, this is a a, a situation where uh, every other row was either treated or not across a field. So this is the average of eight checks and nine treatments. And you can see a little bit better than a, a four bushel an acre increase, which is nice. Now let's go over to the East Coast into Maryland, where we don't have data until now. And uh, this is a, a retired agronomist who did this work. And he does six rows wide, 100 feet long with four different replications. He does not use a yield monitor. This is a way wagon. So these are actual weights. And you can see across all four reps about a 15 bushel an acre increase, which is really nice. This is a pretty good result. Now let's go down to North Carolina. And here we have an unusual situation where this operation is, is pretty large and they have very different soil types. So if we look at the top two comparisons, this is light soil, less than 1% organic matter. And you can see about a nine bushel increase. So this tends to be, you know, what we see that the rougher ground, the, the microbes give on a percentage basis an even better result. However, if we go down now to the other extreme, heavy soil, over 8% organic matter, we're still getting, you know, about a four bushel plus or so increase. So we still are delivering a benefit in really good soil on a percentage basis, the rough soil, we tend to do a little better. Now at the very bottom, they compared a, a second application at side dress. And this is something that we've, we've researched through the years. In this case, doing that second uh, application on this rougher ground with lower organic matter definitely paid off. It delivered a, a, a worthwhile uh, return on investment. That isn't always the case. We usually see a bump in yield, but not always to the point where we're really delivering an ROI where I would recommend this, but we continue to explore this 
And again, the more I learn about soil microbes, the more I think spoon feeding them on a couple times during the season is probably a better way to go, generally speaking. So now let's look at beans. Now this is back to Iowa, in Ankeny, Iowa. Uh, this is a comparison actually against a competitive product set. Um, the, the microbes uh, part of the com competition is a couple dozen bacteria. Not that it's a bad product, but it's very narrow. And uh, you can see in this case, we did over five bushels better because our product has much, much more than bacteria, the fungi, protozoa, amoeba, and such. So again, God designed soil to be diverse biologically because that diversity is what makes the soil function, the cycle nutrients, protect the crop, et cetera. Now let's go back to South Dakota. <clears throat> again, very dry conditions. And here, you know, um, across all of the acres, this is again, a very strong result, you know, about an eight bushel an acre increase in beans. That's pretty high, but again, the conditions were pretty rough and uh, the biology tends to really shine in those conditions, even more so in the great conditions. Uh, we go back to North Carolina, again, light soil, heavy soil. In this case, we got about a two bushel uh, an acre increase in both sets and both soil types. Um, you know, of course, on a percentage basis, two bushels is higher on a 50 bushel base than a 56, but still good results on both soils. So if you have really good soil, the product still has a great fit, especially, again, as a tool to start backing off your fertilizer input. Great. So there is a lot more that we have this last year, a whole host of different crops, new geographies, you know, including cotton, blackberries, et cetera. So visit our website or get in touch with me. Thanks.